Hi, boys and girls. Hi, writers. So today we are going to talk again about our personal narratives. So last week you um, read with me Grandma's Records, and we talked about how the story was a memory that the boy had with his grandma and the music that they listened to. And then you guys did a writing about a time that you spent with a loved one. And so today we're going to continue into our personal narratives, remain personal are about ourselves, and narratives are a story. And so we're going to look at um, a story today, and then tomorrow you'll do some writing. So our book today we're going to base this off is called Child Times. And it is um, a three-generation memoir. That means that this book has been written by three different women in the same family. And it's actually, let me read you specifically, um, Eloise Greenfield is the first writer. Her mother is Lessie Jones Little. And then her grandmother is Patty Ridley Jones. So it's three generations, um, grandma, great grandma, mom, and then the child who are writing about their experiences during their life. And you can imagine that as times have changed, things in their lives have changed. Their experiences have changed. Um, so let's look at a little picture of each of the women here. So this is Patty Francis Ridley Jones. And so this one is the grandmother. So here is the grandmother in our story. And then we have Lessie Blanche Jones Little. This is the mother. And then the last one is Eloise Greenfield. And this is the daughter. So all three generations are in our story. All right, so you can imagine during growing up in their time, things were definitely different. So we're going to be reading some different sections um, over the next few weeks as we are diving into our personal narratives. So the one we're going to read today is about is from Patty, um, Patty Ridley Jones. She's the eldest or the oldest of the three women. And let me start off by reading you some information about her. Patty Francis Ridley Jones. It's been a good long time since my child time. Yours is now. You're living your child time right this minute. But I've got to go way, way back to remember mine. Memory is a funny thing. You never know how it's going to act. A lot of things that I saw and heard and heard about when I was a girl. I can't call to mind at all now. My memory just hop skips right over them. Some other things I can almost remember, but when I try to catch a hold of them, they get mixed up with something else or disappear. But then there are the things that keep coming back, keep coming back just as plain, just as clear. So you could probably imagine if you've talked to your grandma that she can remember certain things from her child and maybe some other things she can't. All right, so today we're gonna read um, this section called Our House, Our House. And as we read, I want you to see what you can find out about her childhood and what she remembers in her personal narrative. So Our House. Papa built our house. It was shaped like a capital L lying down on its side. Well, no, to tell you the truth, it was more like three L's sandwiched together. The back porch, the front porch, and the house in the middle. It was made of wood mostly, but right at the corner of the front bedroom, there was a big brick chimney that started on the ground and went up taller than the house. We had three rooms and a hall and a kitchen. One of the front rooms was Mama and Papa's. The other one was my brother John's. We girls had the back room. I can remember that Papa painted one of the rooms blue, a soft kind of blue, but I can't remember for the life of me which room it was. 
The kitchen was the place where Mama and Papa liked to sit in the evening after Papa got off from work. I remember one time Papa came home with a piece of wood from my, for my youngest sister, Maddie. It was a short plank from the mill. The mill is a place where they take tree trunks and turn them into planks of wood. And a plank is like the um, flat wood that goes on the ground. Maddie was real little then, and he always brought her something, a stick of candy or some little something. And this time he brought her this plank. Well, Maddie was so happy. When Mama and Papa sat in the kitchen that night, she rested the ends of the plank on the rounds of their chairs and then sat on it. And she just sat there looking back and forth from one to the other while they talked. I like to be inside the house most of the time, doing quiet things, reading and learning poems. I like to play Sunday school with my little sisters when I could keep them still long enough. They'd let me teach them Bible lessons for a little while, but not for long. First thing I'd know, they'd dash out the door and there they'd be for the rest of the day. Mary, Maddie, and Leah running and playing in the yard. We had a nice big backyard with all kinds of flowers that Mama had planted. Just about every kind of flower you can think of. And then a fence that went all the way around the house. Outside the fence, there was a ditch for the water to drain into when it rained. And then our garden, a big vegetable garden with collards and cucumbers and sweet potatoes and butter beans all kinds of things. When Mary and Leah got to be pretty big girls, they planted four trees, elm trees, in the front yard. After a while, Mama cut two of them down, but the other two, excuse me, grew up so full and pretty. Our house is gone now. It's been gone right many years, but one of those trees is still standing there. Think about what you learned about our character and this. What did you learn about her? About Patty? Did you learn that she had a brother? We learned she had three sisters. We learned she liked to read and learn poems and pretend to teach Sunday school. We learned that our papa worked and brought home um, gifts for the youngest one, Maddie. We um, learned they had trees and a garden at their house. And so all those things are memories that she has from her life, personal narratives. So tomorrow, you guys are going to do a writing, and here's your choices. You're going to be able to write about your home, kind of like Patty did, describing what it's like, how the rooms are special, something you do in each of those rooms. You can write about any memory. It doesn't even have to be about your house memory. It can be a memory with a family member. It could be a memory with a friend, something you remember, or you can write a memory about a loved one like we did last week. So tomorrow you're going to do a writing, and I want you to remember to try to write in complete sentences, use your capitals and punctuation like good writers do, and I want you to um, try to add some details. Get as, get as detailed as you can. So that'll be your mission tomorrow. If you want to start on it today because you're excited, you can, but it will be due tomorrow. So hope you have a great day and I'll see you later for our writing time.